Hey, everybody. My name is Trevor Daly. I'm excited. We have Neil and Helen on with us today. And I'm excited because we're actually going to talk a little bit about um, something really cool for flash photographers. And so I want to, we're going to jump right into that. Um, but we, the other thing I just want to add is at the end of this, we're also going to talk about two really cool images and a, and a really neat technique that I have never seen done before. So that's my little teaser for everyone to stick around. But in the meantime, Neil, Helen, why don't you guys introduce yourselves real quick, and then we'll jump into this this really cool thing that's uh, that recently launched for flash photographers. But introduce yeah. yourself first. Well, thank you. I, I'm I'm Neil. Um, I've been a wedding photographer now for I always I, I used to like answering this question. Now it seems to get longer and longer, and it gets a bit more embarrassing. I think 16 years now. Woo. I've been teaching, work, teaching photography workshops uh, specifically for off-camera flash for about six or seven now. Mm -hmm. And I've been very, very proud to be a MagMod ambassador for I think it's three years now. And I can never thank you and MagMod enough for all the help and support you've given me because I love using MagMod and literally couldn't produce the images that I do without using your modifier. So I, I, I'm always so grateful. Dude, and Neil, I... Real, real sure. quick, I just want to add, say real fast, Neil, we appreciate you. You've been like such an incredible, just representative of the brand, but I think it's because you just love using the tools and people well, see I, that I, and they see your excitement. Do. Yeah. So, yeah. um, yeah, we'll, very, I, no, I do. I love it. We'll, we'll show your YouTube channel here in a second. Cause I want to make sure everyone can see all the incredible education. But before we do that, Helen, please introduce yourself. Yeah, well, obviously, I'm Helen Williams. I'm the other half of Flashmasters. I've uh, nice. been a wedding photographer here in the UK full time for eight years. Um, and before that, I was a high school drama teacher. Um, taking lots of skills from teaching high school students into wedding photography. And um, <laughs> yeah, I too have been teaching off camera flash here in the UK for the last three years. Um, I'm very, very excited to see where Flashmasters goes. You also That's use awesome. Mac don't you? I we do. Are, we've, had, we've even re to resort to putting stickers on our equipment now because <laughs> our equipment sometimes, my equipment seems to make its way into Helen's bag very often, it seems. I don't <laughs> know. Including some of my grids. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. communal area now. I've decided it's communal. <laughs> no, that's fantastic. Well, hey, I appreciate you guys joining me. I, you know, we just literally about an hour ago connected and I said, I would love to get you two on this show because we're, we're actually going to be hitting a date really soon tomorrow about this yeah. new thing that we're going to talk about here just shortly. We, we'd actually just hinted at it. Um, and so I wanted to make sure that everyone knew about it before we hit that date. So let's, we'll get into that. But, um, but real quick, uh, thank you guys. Thank you for actually, I know what time is it over there where you're at? It's 20 past nine in the evening, 20 past nine. So thank you so much for taking this time. I know here it's only, you know, 20 past one. So, um, I appreciate you guys. Saved us both from our editing pile. Cause we're still trying to plow through yeah. this, this year's wedding. So <laughs> it's a nice break. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well guys, I know you hinted at it. And if, if people are observant, they're going to see it right there on the bottom on the Instagram the flash masters. Tell us about this really cool site that you two develop, the purpose of it, you know, what are the benefits, that kind of stuff. Just kind of tell everyone about it. Cool. Well, well, Flashmasters is, is a brand new site that we set up. Well, we had the idea for it about seven or eight months ago now. Uh -huh. We were both just talking. As we, you know, we, we're both wedding photographers, and, and we were talking about photography contests and awards. And mm -hmm. it got talking about how we don't really enter anymore because there are some fantastic award sites out there you know, we'll all know who they are, but we yeah. felt as though they didn't really sort of cater for the images that we both like taking the most, which tend to be often off camera flash mm -hmm. portraits and mm -hmm. they didn't seem to be really recognized. So we thought, Oh, wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be cool if we sort of set yeah. something up that would cater for that style of images, you know, images that we often see posted in the MagMod community. Yeah. So we started talking about it and initially it was supposed to be an award site, wasn't it? Yep. Just um, then as it, the site developed, we started to talk about it more. Um, we soon realized it was becoming something into a beast of a, of a, of a brand, really. Uh -huh. which is also now encompassing education and community as well. So the, the initial concept was fine, but it's now grown into this other thing where we've now got ambassadors um, who are our favorite off-camera flash photographers in the world to, who represent us, which is amazing. We've got a YouTube channel. We do a podcast every week. We've got the Facebook group. 
Um, and it's just become, I say, a, a whole brand. But the core of Flashmasters now is really based around education um, and 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 the community side of it. And, and although we think most people probably join to enter the awards, because uh-huh. Flashmasters is offering the only awards in the world, we believe, which is very much for specifically flash photography. Um, Love that. So, you know, it, it, we, we welcome images of all genres and styles or so documentary images and everything, but it has to be taken with flash or off camera lighting. So that's like our niche. Um, and I say, we're the, we believe we're the only site in the world to do that. But on, so that we think that's the reason that more people will join. However, we're hoping that they will stay for the education that we're, that we're, we're producing. Yeah. So um, as, as I mentioned that we have a YouTube channel. We, so far we have um, full interviews, hour long interviews with Jesse Morrill Plant on there. It's uh-huh. got Joe's right on there. Um, and we have more lined up. Um, but as well as that, one of the cool features of the Flashmasters website is that when people win awards, they will be prompted to upload behind the scenes of how that mm. shot was created. So eventually what we want to be, to be able to do is stop say, this is our collection of award winners yeah. and here how they were all created yeah. as well. So even if you're quite new to off camera flash and you may not think, you know, you may not want to enter the award straight away, mm-hmm. you will still hopefully gain a lot of value from the membership by seeing the behind the scenes content. We've look a, we took a lot of inspiration from the Magmar community, which we both love. Yeah. Yeah. You know, obviously we've both been posting there for, for years now. And it's just trying to take that into, into a more sort of formal setting really. But I love personally seeing an image and then seeing that behind the scenes and thinking that, wow, yeah. You've got that sort of boring setup, but look at what you produced. And yeah. I think it's really cool to see that. So we want to really sort of like embrace that rather than just being about the the end images. It's kind of like the how I shot it's on steroids. Exactly. <laughs> that, that's, yeah, yeah. You've always been our inspiration for this. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's about that really, yeah. No, I, I think it's wonderful. I, I love the fact that you guys are really rewarding and acknowledging flash photographers. Because like you were saying, I think you know, there's lots of award sites out there, but oftentimes, I mean, I don't know the percentages, but it seems like a high percentage of the shots don't include flash. It's kind of more the moments and things. But we just, it's a a bit like we're, we're sort of being, you know, a bit neglected. So we thought, well, let's try and build up that that piece really. You know, what's interesting when I used to teach workshops back in the days, people would always ask me, what are your best marketing tips? And I had two marketing tips that I always shared. One was remember everyone's name in the bridal party. Because That's it was good. so important that they want to hear their name and you become their friend. And the second tip was learn how to use flash because those are the images that separated you from everyone else. And yeah. and I was just like, if you can just show people how you're capturing sunsets and everything else, you are going to be, you know, miles ahead of other people. Not only that, but if it's a rainy day or whatever, they know that you can take care of them even under an environment where you have to use a lot of flash. And so I think oh, it's important. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I love exactly. I love this Especially site over here in the UK. We don't often get blessed with amazing sunsets or nice light all no. the time. So, <laughs> and a lot of the venues that we work at are are interesting venues, likewise. Challenging, challenging. That's the word. Yeah. So because of that, like using flash makes you almost I think like bulletproof against mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Because you can create something even when you don't have the light. And like you say, having the ability to transform a an average venue into mm-hmm. something spectacular. That, that, that shot you see there from Ben Conley, which the, is splash on the screen, is uh-huh. incredible. You know, and, yeah. and having that ability to, to make something stunning from something that to the human eye looks very average yeah. is such a cool trick to have up your sleeve. I wanted to share everyone, there's a coupon that you guys were so graciously offered. Um, Magmod is the coupon code, is that right? Yes, definitely. So, um, I will let Helen explain. So, well. No, no. <laughs> Yeah. So yes, in terms of MagMod and and signing up and using Flashmasters, and um, you sign up to a twelve month um, subscription basically, and within that you get entry to the awards and uh-huh. access to all of our educational um, offerings basically. Um, and so we've set up for MagMod a twenty percent discount, and nice. it's not just for your initial sign up today. This will always be the price that you pay. So it's a recurring 20% membership for as long as you're a member of Flashmasters. Yeah, I love it. Now, you guys, the way you sign up, it's an annual thing, right? Don't you sign up? And, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and tell me one more time for the annual. It's How much is it again? I don't want to guess, but... It's one hundred ninety-seven dollars, okay. and then twenty percent off that. And my math isn't good enough to work that out very yeah. well. But 
it should be about $40 off. Yeah, that's awesome. And so, and that, that covers you for the year and that allows you to enter how many photos for each contest? Yeah, so that's five images per contest. And what we're not doing is, that's the same for everyone. So what uh -huh. we're not doing is, is allowing people to sort of pay more to enter more. We want to make it really fair. Yeah. So it, it's um, five entries per contest. And what we're doing is like a super season, as we're calling it, for the remainder of 2022, which will be obviously September, the, with the deadline of which is tomorrow. Um, okay. So September, October, November, December. And then next year in 2023, we go to bi-monthly. So every other month, but this year to, to really kick us off and give us a good good start, we're doing every month. And we have our judges uh, for September, and that's um, Ralph from Ethel Photography and Arnold de Brown, both of whom are Mag One ambassadors. Yeah. So they're going to be judging yeah. the the initial uh, the first month. And what's awesome. cool is when what the way the way the awards work is that if if either judge so two judges if either judge deems your your image award worthy you mm -hmm. will get a silver award a silver flash masters award if both judges choose your image and they'll both be judging independently then that image becomes a gold gets upgraded to a gold award and, and those give you points and that's that will be reflected in a global leaderboard as well so that's something we're very excited about seeing how that pans out because yeah, then it sort of becomes a bit of a race then to become the, the photographer of the year. And it's probably worth saying, obviously, Magmod, you've been incredible. Thank you so, so much for sponsoring Flashmasters. Um, and yeah. all of our different sponsors as well are being so generous. And we're putting together, as we speak with all of them, a fantastic prize package for our photographer of the year, which will obviously be announced then in January after our final season. So there's yeah. going to be um, a really incredible package for whoever wins our photographer of the year. I love that. I love that, guys. Um, tell me the judges one more time so I know who to uh, send you so, know, my... So, my... So, so, so Ralph from... F I always say Ralph from Apple Photography. That's because I don't know how you say his surname. No one does. <laughs> Ralph. Just Ralph. Ralph. The garlic or something like that? Yeah. Garlic. Yes, yes, the garlic. I was never sure. I wasn't confident enough to go for it, but you, you went for it forever. He's just like Kylie. He's just Ralph. Yeah. Just Ralph. <laughs> and, and Arnold de Brown. That's awesome. Cool. I just need to know who who to like send my check to so they'll vote oh, yeah. for my photos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, all except brown envelope. <laughs> yeah, one thing we've actually been very like we we have eleven ambassadors at the moment uh, mm -hmm. who are based around the world, and uh, mm -hmm. we've been very careful to like that they've each uh, you know offered to 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 support us, which is great in the form of judging. But what we're not doing is allowing ourselves. We will never yeah. enter. The ambassadors will never enter. Um, and um, we want to be very open and transparent about how everything works. So, so yeah. unfortunately, although we set this up thinking, oh, this is almost like what we want to enter, <laughs> we can't enter anymore. Like we, we, we're not allowing ourselves to do anything. So we're, we're just driving the Flashmasters car. We'll never Love actually uh, be remember that. That's awesome. Tell, tell me about this page right here. In fact, I see Sandra. Sandra was actually just commenting. Um, tell me oh, about cool. this page, the Find a Photographer. Uh, yeah, what so is this and how does one get on it? Yeah, so that's basically all our members. Uh, nice. So we, the the members will show there, show up there once they've uh, completed their profile. Um, and we know for everyone watching, not everybody has not completed their yet. profile yet. Um, so yeah, you can all every member can upload twenty images to their profile and have all their social media links. And the the way that then they can submit images to the awards is by going into the back end by logging into the system and then just choosing five of those images. So it's very very easy to just you just basically select five of the images you've already uploaded. They are automatically then submitted to to the next round of awards. That's fantastic, you guys. I love that. What a what a cool um, directory. There's so many incredible photographers in here. Um, I just want to see really quickly. So if I were to click on one of these, so if I click yeah, on, yeah, uh, yeah. Let's see if I can find one that I recognize that I know. Okay, Drew. Let's go, Drew. So if I click on Drew's, then oh, okay, I can pull up and see kind of his. Oh, how cool! I, we love Drew. Yeah, yeah. I, I first came aware of Drew's work. Um, probably about six months ago, and his work is crazy good. You might have seen some of the the group shots in particular that he's posted yep. in the Magma community. And yep. it's like, wow, absolutely yeah. wow. I told you, I said, I would like to get you on, on one of these shows to talk about those sure. shots. He should. Yeah. His work is phenomenal. Yeah. He's... This, is, this is really cool. So basically, they fill out the profile and they can upload. I mean, this right here, you guys, is such a great source of inspiration for anybody. Yeah, and it I, really I just, is. Yeah. I want to point out, too, if, if, if you guys haven't gone to the website yet, again, flashmasters.co. And I yeah. just clicked on here and I said, find a photographer. And gosh, I could spend probably hours looking through each one of these portfolios of just amazing images. Yeah, um, what we're really 
thought to as well is like once obviously the, the the collections on there that haven't got anything in yet because it's brand new um uh-huh. and um the leaderboard nothing there yet because we don't have any winners yet so yeah it's gonna be really cool when we see everything start populating you, you know what's neat though and i i hope people understand this is that if if you're hearing about this now you're hearing about it right in the beginning which is like yeah. the best time um, because a lot of these ward places where it's like, if you're wanting to get on the leaderboard, oh man, you're they, competing they, against people that have been doing it for a long time. So, yeah. 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 Plus at the moment, we've, cause we've got only four months left of 2022 and we're double speeding everything for this year. Uh-huh. We're, we're saying on this, our super season and, and we, so people only got one day left to, to enter before the, the first deadline cut yeah. off. And yeah. bear in mind it's only four rounds this year. It's like 25% of of the, the the chance of winning an award is going to be if you join and enter your awards before tomorrow at midnight yeah. BST, which um, for most of America, I would say is probably going to be mid to late afternoon-ish. Okay, so this one day, three hours. So okay, yeah. So for for me on the on the West Coast, essentially, we're looking at about four thirty p.m. East yeah. Coast would be about seven thirty p.m. Um, awesome. Very, very cool. Guys, take advantage of this and use that code MAGMOD and save yourself that $40, not just now, but even in the future. So if you renew that, you know, so the, so real quick then, so when, when you sign up today, then the next time you'd have to sign up would be next late September, October, right? It's a 12 month subscription. 12 months. Okay, cool. Love it. You guys, I think it's really cool. And I'm, I'm stoked to see what comes of this. I think it's wonderful that you're putting out great education. You got these interviews happening, the podcasts. Um, I can't wait to see more of the images in this hall of fame, you know, as you guys start handing out these awards. Uh, yeah, so thank you. really, really, <clears throat> really cool. We're going to be giving this absolutely everything yeah. as well, because, um, yeah, the, like the education side, as I get a little bit older, and I don't <laughs> want to as many, quite as many weddings. Like I want the education slowly over the past few years becoming a bigger part of what I do. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I want this to become like the, you know, such a, a you know, half of what I do in, like, in the future and everything, cut down the number of weddings. So, cause I'm, I'm just passionate about trying to help other photographers and I love doing all this sort of stuff. So I love yeah, it. We're really excited. By the way, Drew's actually watching as well. And he said, he's, uh, he says, OMG, I can't believe it. Are you seeing that chat there? Um, thank you so much to admire and respect you three so much. So appreciate you watching Drew. Thank you so much. And, and serious, we need to get you on this, uh, how I shot it. Yeah. Drew um, is a future star. Well, he is a star, but it'd be, yeah. It'd, yeah. Go yeah. look at Drew's work. It's amazing. Love it. Hey, I wanted to also mention uh, two things. One, uh, make sure everyone knows about your Instagram. So go check that out, you guys. Um, and are you guys doing reels yet? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I will be. I will be. <laughs> so uh, we were, So basically, at the moment, we, we are still, because we were active wedding photographers. Oh, yeah. We, why we decided to, why did we do this in the middle of the season? I don't, I don't know. We do know because we didn't want anyone else to have that idea yeah. and get there first. I, we also honestly did not envisage how much work oh. and time is involved yeah. in setting something like this up. I think we were very naive to it. And we thought, oh, yeah, we can do that alongside shooting weddings in our busiest ever year. Yeah. Um, but it's become really difficult. So I am chomping at the bit to be able to start making all the content for Flashmasters, but I just need to get these last weddings edited and out the door, and then I can write, write I'm dedicating everything I love to it. this. When you get yeah. a chance, start doing those reels. And I, I, I went in the community the other day and I told everyone, I, if you guys are watching this, I'm telling you right now, it has done huge things for our numbers at MagMod as far as reaching people that don't already follow MagMod. So if you're yeah. trying to increase your brand awareness, it's such a big deal. And, and honestly, it, I had this like weird anxiety to like get involved in it and start doing it. And then I said to my, I told myself, I said, during the month of September, I'm going to do one reel a day on, on MagMod. Now, granted, we get a lot of content from other photographers that, you know, yeah. send us behind the scenes and so forth. So it's a little bit easier. I'm not creating the content always. I'm, 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 I'm editing it, but I'm not actually filming it and whatever. Um, but that's where, where Flashmasters can do amazing things as well as find that content, uh, learn OCF. They're doing a great job on Instagram with that kind of stuff. So, um, I, I can't wait to see what you guys do, but, but mainly you guys go check out and, and, and if you want to see like deep content, go check out their, this right here on their YouTube channel. And then Neil, I got to give you a shout out because dude, you have created some of the most amazing YouTube videos like behind oh, the scenes. And I think, I, I think it's important that people who don't know you, I think everyone in the Magmon community probably knows you, but those who are, might be watching on YouTube, for example, if they don't know Neil, go check out his channel, Neil Redfern. Look, you got 43,000 subscribers, which is amazing. 
But I, yeah, I think I, it's. I've been very lucky to have that, and, and, and most of those, the first, the first couple of thousand, almost exclusively, uh -huh. were from the Magmod community because that was the only place I was posting my videos. That's awesome. I, but I think this is a testament to the type of person you are that you're willing to not just give back to the photo community, but when you put your heart and your mind into something, you go like full on. And that's what I think is, is what we're going to see from Flashmasters is this isn't going to be like a little side project. I think you're going to, you and Helen are going to do amazing things. With oh no, it, so. we're going to, we're going to put a yeah. lot into this. Yeah. Well, yeah. everything we have, we, we really see this as being something that that although, you know, it's only a few weeks old at the moment, we want this to be lasting years. Love and, it. and we're, because what the, the exciting things is, the longer we go, the more content we have, the bigger the library of content becomes. Yeah. And it's going to be really cool to see that grow over, over the next few years. I love it. Well, I'm looking forward to it, guys. I can't wait to see it grow. I, I want to be part of it and, 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 and see how you guys take this uh, to the next level. So, And thank you. Thank you for doing it for the Flash community. Yeah, because oh, like it's, yeah. it's incredible to us to, to have... Uh, to have Magmod sponsoring us, um, and we've yeah. been lucky to have you know quite a, a number of really cool sponsors. But Magmod Royce, like we want yes. Magmod, and then <laughs> once he said yes, he's like, wow. So yeah, no, thank no you of you. course, of course. Well, hey, can we give everyone another little treat and show them um, a couple images? Is that cool? Yeah, of course, I'd love to. So let's actually, I want to let's bring up this first one where we actually see Helen in the shot. So yeah, <laughs> let's. I'm gonna I want to show this one first. Way. <laughs> uh, now uh, you don't see you yet because this is the final image but we'll show the behind the scenes here in a second but why don't you guys you guys might have to get really close or maybe take turns but um why don't you guys tell us about this image here yeah so so this is one of the most exciting photographs i've ever actually taken in the field as it were because this was taken in iceland about two weeks ago for mm -hmm. friends of ours um ken and vicky who are also wedding photographers themselves so it's really cool. They invited us to go, go out there and shoot the actual wedding day of theirs. But then we spent the next five days driving around Iceland with them, just doing portrait shots, which was so cool because Iceland, if everybody ever gets the chance to go, is just incredible. Yeah. And one of the places we went to was, was well, we saw lots of amazing waterfalls, but this particular one. And um, it, I have, I do have behind the scenes content of this, which I'll, I'll share as soon as it's all edited. But yeah, at the moment, it's, it's just there on a hard drive. But yeah, the, what the cool thing about this shot was that you can't really tell from, from the end result, but Ken and Vicky were probably about 50, 60 foot in front of me, meters in front of me, I would say. Mm -hmm. And okay. Helen was in front of them. And I was taking this, uh, there she is. Uh -huh. I was taking this from the, from the shore quite dry. I mean, ferocious wet, like waterfalls. The, the, <laughs> the sound is, it's almost deafening how loud it was. But what I couldn't tell from, from this uh. setup, I thought they were all in the dry. I thought that I knew they were behind the waterfall, but I thought they were stood in dry, in dry weather almost. And, and the waterfall was in front of them. So I'm just taking shots and Helen was holding one speed light with a mag sphere. Yeah, uh -huh. I think it was. Mag sphere. Yeah. Um, yeah, just directing at them. I couldn't speak to them because it was so the water was so deafeningly loud. So yeah. I, it, one, I actually phoned Helen and said, "Can you just ask them to do this, do that, whatever it was?" Um, I probably just screamed back at him. <laughs> yeah, so, so it was a very simple setup in terms of just one light. But what was funny is once we took that, oh. and you do see this on the video, which I'll share in the community um, once, it's, once it's ready, is I went up to see where they were, and they were honestly, you will see this on the video, literally drenched yeah. to the bone. Like wow. it was like they were stood in a shower. Yeah. So I always think like fair play to everyone, um, dare I say, especially Ken and Vicky, because they, they were... We, but this was in the middle of a shooting day. We then went to yeah. another water after this, and they were dripping wet through. But it was just so exciting to shoot in such like a cool location. It's such a beautiful image. Um, so interestingly, this is granted most people don't get to shoot at a waterfall like this, but I love how you're explaining how when there is a waterfall, you know, any even if it's not nothing like this, even if it's smaller, it's so hard and to to communicate. And I wonder, yeah. Helen. The, the cool thing is being that you have experience as a photographer and using flash, you were probably able to at least understand the concept of light and making sure that it fell on both of them. And, you know, which is really yeah. helpful to have a good assistant it was like that. Very difficult. I was literally perched on the edge of a cliff and it, it was literally just a drop of the waterfall. And the artist had, had no clue when he's trying to tell me on the phone, can they turn this way? Can they do this? And I'm literally, I am in a shower or I'm trying to look to see if he's pointing because I've got the couple going, Neil's trying to tell you something. He's waking up. And I just, 
just have like a rain, like yeah, or just a shower bursting That's into funny. my face. Yeah, yeah so um, it, was it was very good fun. But it's true what what Trevor says that you you are. It's easier you having that light than, than somebody else because oh, you yes. do know what yeah. it is. I'm, yeah. What I'm looking yeah. for. But that's, I mean, what an, what an outstanding image. I absolutely love it. Um, so, so pretty. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And then one more image, if I can still a little bit more time for you guys. This one I thought was really interesting. I'm going to pull it up here. And the reason is because this is something that I think all of us do. In fact, Kevin, in last week's How I Shot It, he had some incredible images showing the silhouette. But I thought this one was really interesting, and I can't wait to show the behind-the-scenes video on this. So why don't you go ahead and explain it, and then I'll run the video after you finish. Yeah, well, what I like most about about like this setup is that it can literally be done anywhere. All you need is dark conditions, and obviously we always get that at some mm -hmm. point in the day. So it's almost like a get-out-of-jail-free card. If, if you you know haven't had much during the day and you're in a very difficult venue, then it's good to be able to have this setup because you can create this within – a minute and it was foolproof so this is literally just one light with a magmod cto gel and just a couple in front and that that's literally all it is uh, on the, the 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 biggest thing here i say is that you do need a, a quite a large light stand to get up and high um yeah. and my advice when shooting something like this is to shoot on a longer focal length maybe like an 85 mil which is, this would have been taken on and just to have the light just out of the frame so you don't have that hot spot yeah. um and then yeah and then it's just a question of putting the couple in front of it but yeah it's it's just one light with a with one gel and and in in more or less pitch darkness and then that's, I, that's all there is to it really so i'm going to show the behind the scenes video and so you guys can see this here we go so and and the interesting thing is it wasn't even super dark at the moment no, it was it's actually a different time okay the setup is exactly the same and the end result is virtually exactly the same same okay um so yeah, it, that's all it is. But and obviously, I'm underexposing quite a lot in the camera by you know yeah. using a, a fast shutter speed. I can't remember exactly, but maybe going to high speed sync, the flash is probably on half power, full power, something like that. And yeah, by underexposing the ambient, killing all that ambient, and then just putting the flash just just means that the only light source then is the flash, and you can just create something like that really effectively. And I've used that two or three times now. Mm -hmm. um, just as a as a very very quick go to because there is no setup time needed other than putting the lights on there, flash on it up high, and you're done. Yeah, I love this because I I'm so used to just putting that flash, you know, maybe four feet high, five feet high, something like that. I I've never really that I can remember have thought about raising it up to twelve, thirteen feet, you know, whatever this is, and and putting it right on the edge of the frame like that. I've done the flares where I've done like color flashes right on the edge of the frame but I've never yeah. done the sun like that. And granted, when you shoot it, guys, if, if this is the first time you're doing it, you're probably going to see a little bit of a hint of light on the, on the light stand. Um, but it's one of those very easy to remove in, you know, in, in yeah, Lightroom really, or Photoshop. Photoshop is very easy. Now the patch yeah. tool is what I use in Photoshop and it, it's literally a case of drawing around the light stand, dragging to the side and it's done. Yeah. Yeah. So nice. Very cool, man. I, I just, I love that shot. And, and again, just to show that waterfall one again, so, so pretty. It's funny because you have so many incredible images and Helen, we ought to do a show just featuring your images as well. One of these days, <laughs> um, you both are very talented yeah, photographers. Lovely. Thank you. Yeah, no, absolutely. Well guys, thank you so much for taking the time. To, I know it's late in the evening there. I appreciate you guys just coming on. Like I said, I saw that your timer was coming up tomorrow and I said, gosh, I sure would love to actually get the two of you to talk a little bit more about Flashmasters because I think it's so such an incredible website that you've built. Um, and I, I know there's going to be a wonderful community. And I just love the fact that you're recognizing and honoring and awarding those flash photographers out there. I think that's that's necessary. It's something good for, for our community. So appreciate well, you guys. Thank you. No, and thank you so much to Magmod and to yourself for, for your time and your support as well. It really has meant a lot to us. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you again, guys. If you have not yet done it, go check out their website. Again, it's flashmasters.co. Make sure, let me throw this up there one more time. Make sure you use that coupon code MAGMOD if you sign up. It doesn't do anything for us as MAGMOD. I just want to make sure you save some money. So, um, so take advantage of that. And then, of course, um, check out their Instagram. So if you haven't subscribed, check out that. Make sure you're following them there, their YouTube channel. And then if you really want to go get some awesome good content as well, check out Neil's YouTube channel. Uh, all, all good stuff. So Helen, Neil, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for taking the time. Appreciate you both. Our pleasure. Thank you so much, Trevor. Yeah, absolutely. 
You guys all have a great day and a wonderful time shooting this weekend. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys. Thank you.